everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is moody dreamer and this is my channel as usual i hope that i can provide or if you're not new here continue to provide content that is interesting engaging and creative so I really just wanted to take the chance to wrap up the part two of my figure modeling video. The first video had a lot of useful information, but there was also a lot of stuff that I edited out and I didn't want the footage to just get deleted. It actually had a lot of, I feel like, useful and helpful tips and information. This video is going to talk a little bit about safety when you're figure modeling, also the pay rate, and a little bit more about my experience. I'll also have some more photos, and I've also just recently got finished with another workshop. So I was able to, in 2019, out with another workshop led by a wonderful artist that I'd love to talk a little bit about. And yeah, just like some good stuff about figure modeling. Similar to before, I will have the questions sort of already laid out in a format just to keep us on point. So if you're ready to finish up part two and all the stuff that I mentioned before sounds interesting to you, please stick with the rest of the video. I guess some other important factors to consider if you are trying to pursue figure modeling is safety. What is What does it mean to be safe as a figure model? I think with any type of modeling, uh, your very first concern should be your image and you know your body and how you feel in the environment that you're working in. You should definitely work with artists that you feel safe and comfortable around. If you are in an academic setting and you are posing nude, definitely make sure that they have some type of partition for you or a dressing room somewhere where you can have some privacy to undress. Another thing is they should typically also offer robes. If you are posing nude, you might want to bring your own, but they should have some type of like robe or cloth or something to cover you in those in-between moments when you're getting up there, getting ready to pose, and when you're coming down, you definitely want to have something to cover up with. Also, something to think about is heaters. Even if you're not nude and it's cold or it's chilly or there's a draft, especially if they're painting and you know they need some type of the airflow, you essentially want to make sure that they have heaters and pillows and things to just keep you as comfortable as possible because you are exposing and revealing yourself to them at the end of the day. You're allowing them to come into your 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 space, your body, and uh, try and capture it. I didn't really talk too much about pay because I feel like pay is going to fluctuate depending on where you are and the type of figure modeling you do. As I said earlier, if you're in a school setting, they're already gonna sort of have like a pay rate worked out for all their models versus if you are hired for an by an artist privately, you guys can negotiate and work something out, which could be more in your favor. Um, most schools and most academies are probably going to pay you whatever is the minimum wage or a little bit over the minimum wage. Um, I know here in Chicago, we're making anywhere from 18 to $20 an hour modeling. And if you uh, work privately with an artist, that could go up to, you know, 25 or more an hour. Another thing that you should think about when you decide to start pursuing figure modeling is pictures and photos, especially if you're a nude model. Before you even start modeling, when you're scheduling the appointment, you should definitely, this is a question you should be inquiring and asking about. Does your facility allow pictures? A lot of facilities do allow this. Some facilities don't allow this. I know if an artist is doing a class privately and people are paying this artist to teach them, they may not allow photos. But if everybody knows each other and everybody's very comfortable, they might allow photos. So this is definitely something that you want to be aware of before you are even taking your clothes off or even going into pose. And if you know that's something that you're comfortable with, 
then definitely ask for compensation as well. For the most part, when people ask me if they wanna take my picture, one, they come up to me and they ask me to my face, is it okay if I take a picture? All the artists should be getting verbal consent from the model that it's okay for you to take their picture. You know, a painting is one thing. A painting is something that somebody is going to celebrate and enjoy privately for the most part. But a photo is different, especially because we're living in the age of, you know, uh, camera phones and it's just so easy to kind of quickly take a shot and send it to anybody in the world. And yes, of course you're posing nude and everybody is seeing your naked body. So, you know, I'm sure some people are thinking, how am I supposed to protect my image? It's not just your, your image, but it's also like mentally you, you know, like you don't want to feel weird with somebody who you don't really know walking around with a picture of your naked body in their phone. Now, a lot of these artists are grown ass old men. So you definitely want to think about the, that type of thing when you, before you even enter into the facility to start modeling. So I know I mentioned earlier that I got to finished 2019 out with a workshop. The workshop was taught by Rose Franson. So it's a really, really cool opportunity because you get to see how world-renowned artists, they will come and, you know, imbue wisdom. Workshops are a really good way for models and artists to network and get, you know, their selves out there. But working with Rose was a wonderful opportunity. She is such a talented artist, so inspiring. She's also a Virgo, just like me. And so it was just really cool to see how her mind worked, how she breaks down stuff. She's a figure artist first and foremost. I got acquainted with her work probably about two years ago when I first started figure modeling. and. I didn't even know her at the time. I just went to the gallery and I was immediately drawn to her work. Now, two years later, I was, you know, fortunate enough to meet her and she was, you know, she liked me enough to where she wanted me to be a part of her workshop. So I am so thankful, so grateful. I'm grateful to really all the artists that uh, hire me, but Rose was a really wonderful opportunity. So if anybody ever gets the chance, please check out her work. And if you have the money or if you have the time and you have the availability, check and see if her workshops are available. I know they sell out out very very quickly a lot a lot of the artist workshops that I've been a part of so far they sell out so it's a really cool opportunity and I highly encourage anybody who is a figure model or is interested in, in doing figure modeling to look into um, working with artists in their workshop and I guess too the cool thing about modeling for Rose Franson and her workshop just because it uh, ties in so well with what I'm talking about uh, pay rate and safety it was a warm Wonderful environment it was very very safe she attracts really wonderful down-to-earth people I just know personally for me because I'm a young young woman um, it was a workshop really with just a ton of women there were maybe one or two men in in there so I felt really really comfortable uh, being nude didn't feel you know overwhelmed or frustrated or anything she definitely made sure that I was comfortable not only that but I was tipped and paid very well I had the opportunity to work overtime so I was able to make a few extra bucks which always helps during the holiday season you know we're buying gifts for everybody so it was just a really great opportunity. It was just really great. Another thing an artist mentioned to me that I've modeled for was that if you are an art student right now, you may not be able to figure model, especially if you are trying to figure model at the facility that you're taking classes at or currently getting your education from. That's probably going to be just kind of a clash just you know on a social level you know somebody who is like your peer also might see you naked it's just not something that they I feel like want to invite so definitely inquire about that if you're an art student trying to get into figure modeling it wasn't a problem that I had encountered but after speaking with one of my artist friends she uh 
you know, said that that was something that happened while she was in school. So definitely inquire about that. I know I've been mentioning workshops a lot, um, but if you are a figure model and uh, you do model at like a school or a facility, definitely look into opportunities, uh, free classes or discounted classes that they might offer to their models or just like anybody that's employed underneath them. I know where I work at, they do allow models to come into their open studio session. So that's like a free figure open studio class. You don't really get taught. It's more of a lot of artists just come and draw a figure, you know, for the day and you get to do it for free. So definitely look into opportunities, you know, that might get you more involved in the arts if you're not involved or, you know, keep you involved. You know, that's like a really, really cool aspect about the job as well. So I feel like that's about it when it comes to the basics and figure modeling and just like the general facts and tips. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, if there's anything that I miss, please feel free to comment down below with any questions or anything else that you guys might think might be interesting. Um, I'm thinking about maybe we'll start like a series of videos of figure modeling where, you know, I talk about maybe posing and um, just, you know, like how to stay comfortable, maybe like your diet, all that type of stuff. Just stuff that I feel like will uh, help anybody who is trying to get started or is already started and just hearing some tips and, you know, from my experience, just let me know comment down below. I don't know, for some reason, like just after doing this workshop, I, I feel more inspired, more invigorated. Maybe you can even tell just like with the energy in this video versus like the footage that I'll have mixed in from the last video. I just have more energy and I know that's coming from, uh, you know, just like a positive source, you know, just being around a ton of creative people who speak the way I do, who speak the same language, who love the same art supplies as me. Um, it's just, it just all helps inform um, my art and inform my creativity and it helps me stay happy. Yeah, that's really all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to like put out positive vibes and you know, teach people that it's okay to be them and like the things they like and celebrate it. If you guys did enjoy this content and you might like any of my other content, feel free to check out my other videos. I draw, I figure model. In general, I just, you know, love to, you know, celebrate, you know, things that I like. If you think you might like me or some of the things that I might talk about, go ahead and check out my channel, check out my Instagram, check out my Tumblr. Tumblr's kind of dead right now, it's unfortunate, but um, speaking of support, if you are interested in any of the artists or their photos that they've done of me, please go ahead and feel free to check the description box below. It should have their information. Unfortunately, there are always like a few artists whose names I don't get when I photograph their art. So unfortunately, there might be a few drawings just like in the last video that I don't really have their name or their information. I hope everybody is gonna have a good holiday and if you guys don't see me or don't check me out until next year. Happy New Year. I can't wait to see you guys in 2020 and I can't wait to bring you more content next year and inspire you guys next year. Alrighty, peace and blessings. Like and subscribe and share and all that beautiful stuff if you feel like it. Um, and yeah. Bye. And, um, well, blah, blah, blah. I don't want the video to be nearly as long as the last video. Yeah. Um, no. Enjoy the rest of your day, okay? Fuck. Enjoy the rest of your-